Hello! Hi, I'm Ben. I'm Connor. And this is the next gripping instalment of the FPD Roundup video. <laughs> this year has been great for FPD. We've been keeping ourselves really busy releasing some records that we're really proud to have put out. We're going to tell you a little bit more about them now. Cool. So like always, I told you you've kept really busy this year. They went out to their first ever trip to mainland Europe with our good friend and sibling. Uh, they came back and did a quick UK run, uh, and it's very exciting to have our bands heading to Europe. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> they also dropped two new singles this year, the first one being Divine Violence, which is probably my favourite track of theirs to date. We got together on literally the hottest, literally the longest day of the year to shoot a music video outside for it, which is really fun. Make sure you check it out just so our work is in vain, please. Then they also released uh, their second single, uh, which is called Mourn. Which is my favourite, I told you I did use song. I love the second verse in it, it gets me dance every time, I think it's a really good time. One of my personal highlights, I think Ben will agree with me on this one, was when uh, I told you that you played Arc Tangent Festival this year. I, I shed a little tear watching them play. A very proud moment for us. We've worked with I told you Elite for ages. To, to see them playing to hundreds of people who were so into it. I, it. Yeah, it was a very, it was a great moment and a lovely way to round off our summer. Also, keeping with I told you Elite, you their uh, last EP, I'm Not Your Fault, turned one in September, and I've said enough great things about that, I don't need to repeat myself. But more importantly, the two variants that we've got, the nice green and the blue, are very limited. So if you want to treat yourself in the new year, which I think you should, as a, you know, a little treat after Christmas, being good to yourself, pick one up. At the time of recording this, we have about 10 of these left in stock. If you want a copy on this variant, order it as soon as you can. Pause the video and go order a copy. Do it. I told you that you have a bunch of exciting things happening in the new year as well. If you like the band, like definitely keep your attention on them. They're gonna turn your head 360 degrees. It's cool. It's cool. Staying cool a lot. Cool. Cool. Guillotine's been keeping busy for the last part of 2017. You'll remember that we released that amazing EP Sapphire in February. Uh, the reception to that was amazing. So it's been great to have them going out and playing a load of shows and showcasing the material from that record to people all up and down the country. Guillotine is starting 2018 with a handful of shows, so make sure you stay plugged into our social media and keep up to date with their content. Professional. In October, we were really excited to release the new EP on a chain from Canada's Heavy Hearts. Here's an example of the vinyl. If you've not listened to On A Chain yet, you're mugging yourself off. This EP is so good. I know we're obligated to say that because we're the label that released it, but it's, it's great. A huge step up for that band. I know pretty much everyone that's taken the time to listen to this band from not hearing them before has been very glad to do so. Yeah. It's such a varied six tracks. There's like big rocky numbers. There's like super catchy choruses, but then you've got like really odd, introspective, experimental, stripped back songs. and. It's, it's great, like we were floored the first time we heard it, so we, we knew we had to release it. We're so excited to bring them over in January to tour the UK and Europe. Make an effort to get to one of these shows, like it's a big deal for this band to come all the way over here to play. The record's amazing, their live show's yeah. superb, like make sure you're at those shows. Please. I will f*** <laughs> you otherwise. <laughs> Touring with Hey Hearts in January is our latest signing, Lightcliff. Yeah. We released their debut record for a while. The five tracks that make up the record, just sweet, romantic, alt-rock songs. Mm. Personal highlight for me is their single from it, Staring at Your Bedroom Floor. Oh yeah. We had a great time shooting a music video for Staring at Your Bedroom Floor in Jimmy and Alex from the band's warehouse where they live. It was really, really fun. Uh, if you've not checked out the video, Please do. It's a brilliant song. A lot of love went into making the video. We had a lot of fun at their EP release show, which was also, incidentally, in the same place where the music video was shot. It was a really nice, intimate evening with lots of friends and family. It was a really nice time.
they just recently finished up their last shows of the year with uh, their good friends Don't Worry. Don't worry. <laughs> wow. yeah, with their friends Don't Worry around the UK. I expect to see them on the road a lot more in 2017. Why, where am I going with that? I don't know. I don't know. Where is anyone going? Yeah. Lightcliff kicks off 2018 with a UK and European tour with Heavy Hearts. Uh, these are two bands we massively back, uh, we think are amazing. So make sure to get to a date if it's coming near you. It's all across the UK, a bunch of Europe as well. Um, these are shows you can't afford to miss. Because you'll be a laughing stock amongst all of your friends. And there'll be free entry mainly. Duh, duh, duh. Ah, gold. Moving on to our longest serving bands on the label, Weather State. They've been keeping themselves super busy this year. They've been playing a bunch of uh, a bunch of shows and touring a bunch. They toured with our good friends in Muskets around the UK and then went off to Germany with Waster. That was a great time. I hopped in the van with Weather State for those shows um, and we had a total blast. It was great to see them playing in front of this completely new audience uh, and everyone getting super into mm. it. They had people jumping around, singing along every single night, so... Cool. 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 Next year is going to be huge for Weather State. They have been working on some new material and it's going to knock your socks off. Ready? Yes! Vinyl copies of their fantastic record, Dumbstrike, are still available, so make yourself... make yourself... And make sure you treat yourself in the new year and pick one of these up. Yeah, buy it. Blah, 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 blah. Mm. Blah, blah. Interesting. It was a huge pleasure, to be honest, to release Asim Tung's debut album, Babies, which is available everywhere now on this amazing blue vinyl. Whoa. I just love the colour of that thing, man. We last year released the band's two EPs, I Died Dreaming and Beautiful Disaster. Very good. Which we completely love, but that, that album. Babies is a whole nother step up, like the songs are so much better, so much more thought out, catchier in all the right ways, more thought provoking than all the others. It's it's a non-stop party, you really should check it out. They're really good garage rock tunes, if you like, uh, if you just like having a good time then this is the record for you, so. I'm trying to run a legitimate business. Buy it. Cool. And Aceton came over and played a mammoth six week European UK tour. Um, they ended up playing their album release show in Portugal. Um, I believe it. Every, everything I saw from that tour was just wild. It just kicked off every single night, and I'm. It's it's not surprising how good this band is going to get. They're most likely going to be playing a lot of shows next year. Probably coming over to Europe. Probably going to somewhere like Hawaii, Africa. Basically cool. anywhere, so if you're anywhere in the world, you'll probably see Acetone at some point. Be sure to pick up a copy of Babies. We've actually already only got limited stock mm. left in the store, so make an effort to, to get a copy before you can't. And you have to pay loads of shipping from the United States of America. Ooh. Oh, us? You want to know about what we've been doing? <laughs> Thanks for asking, man. Been so polite of you. We, uh, again, went to 2000 Trees and Arc Tangents with our friends at Big Scary Monsters and every other mate around. We love getting to go out to all of the festivals every summer. It's, it's great to like meet new people mm -hmm. and hang out. So if you're there, great to meet you. If not, see you next year. Make an effort to go to one of these amazing grassroots festivals and support it. The sense of community of both of those festivals is like unparalleled. Easily some of the best weekends of the entire year. So do what he said. This year we also launched the first ever FBD zine, which unfortunately, unfortunately, we don't have any copies left of, so we can't even show you one. Uh, Thank you very much to everyone who picked up a copy of yeah. the first zine. We did it kind of an experiment, like a, a, a new way of sort of getting some media across to people that are interested, but um, the feedback's been really, really positive, so thank you if you picked yeah. one up. We planned in the new year to do more. We also featured on the Covenant, the epic, the world-renowned Holy War podcast with our good friend Naz. Naz came and joined us in the office and we waffled on for a very, very long time about the origins of the label, how Connor and I met, the bands we work with. It was great, so th thanks very much to Maz for coming and hanging out with us. Thank you very much to anyone who listened to it. Some people said some really nice things, which was really cool. I'm sure some of you listened to it. If you've not, it's available on Holy War Records' SoundCloud page. It's <laughs> quite entertaining. In, in the heat of summer, we entered the 
BSM five-a-side football tournament. Uh, we went in very confident, and uh, you know what? We did ourselves proud. We had a, a good, a good core team of people. Uh, we got through to the knockout stages, and then we got knocked out. You know, they say the best offense is a good offense. So yeah. we went in pretty offensive and slanderous on Twitter, just to sort of throw the opposition off, I suppose. Just throw the shade. Uh, you know, we didn't come out on top, on top, but I was really proud of, uh, of our team, of our boys out there, you know, really running, really running. It wasn't our, uh, it wasn't our particular round. Um, no, the, the draw was tough to it was tough for us. As team manager, I felt that the, the tactics we played were particularly good, though we could have done with playing teams that weren't better than us. Moving forward, I think that's a strategy that we will apply next year. Yeah, we tried very hard. Unfortunately, this year was not year, but we'll be back again next year. Go on, go on, all the way. Nice, spin it, lay her off. Yes! <laughs> no more questions. FBD turned four in November. We're old dudes now. Four years old. If four our years. label was a child, it would be learning to talk. It would be learning about dinosaurs. Out of nappies. It'd be out. It'd be be house trained. I'd hope so. But we turned four. That's the main thing. We got there. We got through the teething process. We were very excited to announce that we'd be doing, hosting our first ever FBD showcase in Dalston next year at the Shacklewell Arms on January the 20th. is on the label Bar Acetone will be playing the, the showcase and it's gonna be really bloody fun. We're going all out for this showcase. An event like this means a lot for us. Mm -hmm. Like it's as much as it is uh, showing off all these acts that we work with and adapt so much. I, I wanna think of it as like a celebration of our label. Like we worked really hard doing this. It's kind of like our super sweet 16. Yeah, We're both gonna be just brats all um, day. Any gifts we receive won't be enough um, by any stretch of the imagination. There might be a cake, so if you like cake, do come along. It is completely- Yeah, that's the selling yeah. point. <laughs> that's the selling point, there's cake, so come along. Completely free to reserve your space. Uh, tickets are selling very well, um, so please do come along and celebrate with us. The lineup for the FBD showcase is... Guillotine, Heavy Hearts, Lightcliffe, I Told You I'd Eat You, and Weatherstate. And one more that you'll hear about in January. We still have loads of exciting news regarding the showcase coming in the new year. Make sure you're at that event. This is what kind of we've been working towards for ages. Uh, it would mean so much if people that like and support our label were there. Yeah. We're, we're really going all out for this. Um, it's a free entry event. It's... If you're coming along, bring some money to support the bands, to pick up some merch, to like support the venue. We just want to make this one big party. Like yeah. we, we work super hard at this label and it would mean so much if if everyone was there and we just had a real good rock music time. To reiterate, it is free, zero pounds, zero pence. And it is on January the 20th, 2018. Shacklewell Arms, London. It's a Saturday, what else are you doing? I just wanna have a real nice time. Thanks again for such an amazing year. Um, we love running this label and it's not possible without people supporting us. Thank you so much if you've picked up any of our releases or told a friend about our label. Tweeted about us. Like, it, it, means, it means hell. You know? Bloody loads, it means bloody loads. If you wanna keep in the loop with what's going on with Failure by Design Records. I'm sure you do. I wouldn't blame you. Our website is www.failurebydesignrecords.co.uk. We are updated on the regs with all the biggest news, all the latest goss. Hear it here first, see it here first, know it here first. Maybe that's our <laughs> new slogan. What? If you're interested in the music that Connor and I have been enjoying in 2017, we have both created some new playlists. Search Failure by Design Records on Spotify uh, and we've got playlists with 30 or so songs each of just like the, the best, in our opinion, music that was released this year. The bangers. Check it out. Uh, let us know if you missed anything and be sure to subscribe to our Spotify. We update it regularly with music that we're listening to in the office. Right here. Thank you again for another good year. Keep up to date with all our social media. Have a very happy new year. I will see you in 2018 for bigger and better things. Cool. Cool.